and we're going to see how the public react. Wow, that was a really positive handshake. I'm sorry. Did you see all their reactions, dude? Yeah, they were shaking my hands and shit. Like, people, really? Yeah, you know, someone shook my hand. Didn't you get that? Joey, Joey, how you doing? Hey, brother. I'm a massive, massive fan. Are you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, um, your work is like probably the reason I went vegan. Yeah. Oh, really? A year and a half now, man. Really? Oh, my God. I watched all your videos as well, man. Can I get, can I get a picture? Yeah. Right, I'll take it. What do you think you of this sign? <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, oh, it's, my new, it's my new t shirt. <laughs> Sorry, I need to grab you like that. Nah, you're right, brother. Yeah, it's all good. I'm coming to the march. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome, man. You're going to be there? Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. There you go. So I guess you're uh, doing activism today then, yeah? I would say seeing how people react to this. How yeah. are they And how are they reacting? Most, well, the people who disagree might not be saying yeah. anything about it, but people who agree are going, I agree, shaking yeah. my hand and stuff, so. Awesome, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, keep up the work, man. Cheers, brother. Looks like my vegan activism worked on him. <laughs> Let's see if we can work on someone else. <laughs> Hey brother, I'm asking people what they think of this sign. What do you think about it? Do you think it's true? I eat meat every day. Do you think it's true though? I'm not coming. What do you think of this? Eating meat is animal cruelty, of course it is. You think it is? Of course it is. Really? Why is it? Come on, why would you eat that? Come on. Yeah, true. Why would you eat a dog? <laughs> you don't eat animals? No. Really? So you don't you don't you don't think it's cruel at all? I eat my, I eat animals every What do you think of this? Twice. I love steak. You love steak? Yeah. Me too. Do you think it's cruel though? Are you recording? Oh you can I don't think it's cruel. I mean I don't believe that they should inhumanely treat the animals. Yeah. I don't believe that. You know, I think there should be uh, there's not such thing as ethical killing because it's death. Yeah, so like even if you treated someone nicely before you killed them, it would still be cruel to take their life. Yeah, kind of. It's like Catch-22, you know yeah. what I mean? We have canine teeth for a reason, that's my, you know, we haven't got... Holy... Show me. No. Show me yours. No, we haven't got all moulds in our mouth, but I mean, you know, I like steak. I mean, I try to buy ethical meat. I do. I'd be, Where from? Like, if I go shopping, I tend to like go for free range. Even though it's a little bit hypocritical because you treat them nice, but you kill them. Yeah. But then you treat them whole. You treat them nicely because you think they have moral value, then we take their life from them to eat them. Yeah, 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 that kind of thing. It's, it's a little bit... Hypocritical? Just, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's hypocritical. I just think that... I just think that what's happened now is that uh, the supermarkets, we've gone into this mass battery whole cell production of animals. Factory farms. Before, but yeah, when I was growing up, uh, you got chickens from the field, you know? Yeah, or yeah, you yeah. got cows from... You know, cows ate grass. No. So because there's a massive demand for meat because everyone wants to eat meat, they have to put them in factories and... Yeah, and it's cheap meat. I mean, I, when I go shopping and I see free chickens for £10, hell no. Yeah. You know? Hell no, because, you know... You want to pay the price for yes. some type of consolation. Yes, yeah, yeah, because, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't just... I'm not absent minded, I just, I don't think what I'm... I don't ever dismiss what I'm eating, you yeah. know? But I don't think of it that much that's going to change my habit. It, however, I did change, I didn't eat meat for three years. How'd you feel? I feel silly because I was in the cinema and then somebody was sitting in front of me eating a hot dog. Yeah. And then the smell just brought me back into eat. But I don't eat a lot of meat. Do you ever watch animals be slaughtered? That I couldn't do. Yeah. I saw it once. How about you? Have you do you watch animals? Have you seen animals no, be slaughtered? I like that. I like yeah. animals. Yeah. Like, you, you love animals? Pets. pets. Yeah. But do you like could you see how people could un, like could connect a pig and a dog as like being very like similar? Dogs. No, I don't see. Yeah, no, actually, no. I can't, no, they're animals at the end of the day. But one, we don't. You know, we've never really we reared dogs as pets. Yeah, we yeah. don't. We never. We never saw them as something to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, pigs was a different thing. Yeah, because of our the way we view them. Yeah, but we could still eat a dog. Yes, you can. Because I mean, in some cities in China, look, dogs are delicacies. We're not yeah, a delicacy. China. Yeah. I mean, you could you could eat a dog, but it's not ethical to eat a dog. It's not ethical. Well, what if they were hum come from your humane farm? You buy ethical meat. No, I wouldn't ever eat a dog. I can't. I wouldn't. No, no, no. I know, but then, but then we haven't got a connection with pigs. We don't walk down the street. So if you've made friends with a pig, yeah, but we're not gonna. So that's a bit of a, you know. I have. I've made friends with plenty. Well, that's Sanctuaries and. Yeah, but then when you walk down the street, what do you normally see? You see companion animals. Right. You know, and you can train. I mean, I'm sure you could train an a, a, train a pig. 
but at the same time, it's not our mind thoughts. So if you didn't know a dog, it's okay to kill and eat the dog because you don't know no, them? No, 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 no. Because, no. because it's, it's a species mind. of animal? Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Do you see like all these con conflict contradictions? Yes, yes. Yeah. It's, it's, to me, it's just not one, it's not just one side. It's not just like, oh, kill the pig, kill. It's not just that because I mean, it's like, for instance, lambs. Yeah. I love lamb. You love eating lamb? Yeah, but I mean, when I, I found they, out, You know they're baby sheep? Yeah. yeah. When I found out how they read them, it, it didn't, I don't eat it as much as I used to. Yeah. I don't eat as much as usual because I just think that is, that's a little bit too far like veal. You know, I think that's kind of like, it's all to our... Baby cows. Yeah, I know what a veal is, that's what I said. But it's all to we, our we, personal delicacy. And I think it's because we drink milk that veal industry exists. Yeah, but we, I mean, yeah. you know, I try, if I, you know, I will try and, I won't have lamb so much, I'll have it once in a while as a trip, simply because, it's, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a that's interesting, like, you know it's cruel and unnecessary, but you still do it every once in a while. Yes, because you kind of like disconnect, especially when you put it in the oven. That's a word, it isn't it? It smells nice, and you wake up. No, you wake up and it's seasoned well, and you've got fringe and you've got. Rope and you don't see the slaughterhouse. No, you never met the animal. No, you don't know who you're eating. No, yeah. I just got this right. Who's coming around for dinner? Like, what are you cooking? What should we cook? Lamb chops. No, not lamb chops. Forget that. Lamb, lamb joint. A joint of lamb. Yeah. A leg. And they'll say like, we're having chicken. So straight away you're going to this automatic mode. It's food, food, food. Yes. Yeah. You're hungry. Yeah, but you don't say it's animal blood slaughterhouse no, fear. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's what I do. Having well, good on you. It's because I've seen it all. I see it all the time. Yeah, you know? but maybe slaughter, we, slaughter. maybe if we are exposed to it more, which it's not going to happen, uh, maybe people will start changing their opinion. But there's this disconnect between what we eat and the way it's produced and how it's killed. There is. How do we change that? The truth. We rely on good-hearted people to change, or no, the truth, because we're stuck in our ways. So would you avoid? looking at the truth because it might compel you to change if i was to if, if let's just say i used to say this is going off the subject of it if people could see the damage they cause by knife injuries if you would go into a, a hospital and you see a dead person there with the knife wound stuck into them you may decide to yourself hell no am i responsible for that yeah i'm not going to ever use a knife again because we disconnect ourselves from the reality like the death of so the every animal. time you pay for chicken if you've seen an animal get their throat sliced open I blood go everywhere yeah, yeah. you'd I'll, stop eating chicken i personally i would it's because i've never seen them being sorted yeah. you're yeah. a compassionate person a, non, oh. a compassionate human being oh without a doubt yeah and if i know that if i, I don't know it, if it ever would happen or if they said right bus we're going to go to a real laboratory i don't know if i'd be on the bus but i can tell you this now if a, a documentary a, a fly on the wall documentary the real truth about british farming no no the slaughter of animals i'd be compelled to watch it because it's uh, it's, it, it's it's on the fly it's not it's not uh it's not it's true do you understand i would actually sit down and watch it and uh, it will probably jog some kind of conscious would you promise to watch this one then because this one was actually produced by some friends of mine. It's called Land of Hope and Glory. Mm -hmm. And it was filmed all in the UK. All right. And it's farms and abattoirs. Red Tractor approved as well. Mm -hmm. um, this here is the reality of British farming as it stands in okay. the last few years. And this will give you a really good picture of how they trick people with the, um, you know, the marketing free range and yeah, yeah, humane yeah. slaughter. I know the free range. Well, when I was growing up, free range was free you're range. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't a hundred yards. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't a hundred yards of, of grass. It was free range when free range to run and catch the bloody chicken. But you then, understand? like, let's just say free ranging animals. Is that still ethical to hang him up by their hoof no, and slash not. him in the throat? No, it's not. I don't. I don't. I don't yeah. connect with that because it's awesome. It's, it's grotesque. I mean, I don't. Care. And they want to live, don't they? He, Yes, but they don't want to. They don't want to feel that suffering. I don't know what level of consciousness they have, like you and I. You Maybe know? not, but enough yeah, to but enough that that, that they I suffer. know that I've heard that you know when you know you hear like animals like screaming as they're being led down because they know they can hear, they, they can, can smell, smell the fear, and they can you know. It's like I watched the one thing I did watch is like I was watching the show on them killing dogs in China, and what they were doing is they killed the dogs in front of the dogs in the canes because it it produces uh, adrenaline, which makes the meat tender. And I was like, whoa, Jesus, the, the, that is that is crazy. Well, they've got these things called gas chambers here in the UK, and that's how they kill pigs. And you can hear them going down into the CO2, and they scream and thrash in these, in see, these I CO2. Even you're talking about it now, it, it doesn't resonate with me, but it makes me feel really uncomfortable. Yeah. 
it really makes me feel like, oh my God. But, but you know what? You You're know, making the connection again. I am making the connection. I have never lost a connection because, however, I started to eat corn. I yeah. don't have as much meat as I do. Yeah. Do you understand? So I have substituted my meat. Yeah. I have substituted some of my meat because... And that's Intuitively, you kind of know? Or? Yes, but that's a conscious decision. Yeah. At first, the, the, the substitutes were just rubbish. Yeah. Yeah, but now they've got, like, they actually taste nice. England's one of the best, easiest yeah. places now. And so, I've, so I've, I have changed my habit, and that was simply because... Uh, the, the way that the animals are kept, the way they're slaughtered, there's not, they, when they say humane... Is there a good way of doing this? No, there isn't. Mm. That's just it. There's no, there's no humane way in killing an animal. There's absolutely none. They say that the, the gun bolt in the head, that is not. Shooting not, someone in the head, is yeah, that, I mean, how is that humane? In their throat. I mean, yeah. what the hell is this? Is in what world? No. Yeah. But then, you know... No one sees do? that. What no one sees do? it. But I will watch this. Check it out, Land of Hope and Glory. And on the back, this is a vegan challenge. 22 days. It's all supported on Facebook, it's completely free. And who's who you're filming from? Just wondering. Hey? Like, who are you recording from? Just curious. It's my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know, I've got yeah. no problem being. Am I being uh, filmed? Yeah. Filmed? Yeah, you have. camera, where? Here. Oh my god. That was a fantastic conversation though, mate. All right. You're really, you, you're really um, emotionally intelligent and logical. Yes, but, but you know. You're just not it, consistent in your actions, it, that's it's all. It's the illogical part. Yeah. That, Sure. It's the illogical part that uh, I don't like about me because even having this conversation with you, you know, I, I don't know what it's an inner. Like, it's on, cognitive man. dissonance. It's like conflict. Yeah, conflict. It's conflict. It's like, you know, do I really want that burger? Your beliefs yeah. and your actions are I mean, conflicting. Even here, I started to have like alternative, like halloumi burgers. Yeah. You know, stuff like that, you know, the vegan burger. Then we got the dairy on, industry yeah. with the veal oh, and yeah. the, you know, it's horrific. So yeah, like vegan yeah. is the but way to go. We have a vegan store. And I have, you do? I, we have a vegan store, completely animal free, completely 100% vegan. Oh, really? I tend to have that a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Whereabouts is it? I'll let you in, but don't go around showing people that because it's like... No, I won't. Please, can I just leave this... Can I bring the camera in? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Like, like, oh, is he filming? Sneaky devil. Is it from over there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, it's a bit... They're a bit look, it's a, food, it's a food trailer. Okay. Can I film with this? To shoot the food? No, because of... Simply because of what you're promoting. We have a lot of... We have... We, uh, here, yeah, because if... It's I a understand. conflict of interest. We have, we have, we have, we have, most of the traders have a vegetarian option. Yeah. Like, okay, fair enough. It's not, it may be, I understand. It may be not no, you don't know. It's, it's going to be kind of like a conflict. I mean, I'm talking to you out here because... We don't have to put any of that part in. That's yeah, fine. Still, it's, I, I would rather, you know, I've given you quite a long in interview. Yeah. You know, and I don't mind, you know. Those, That's, I, you know. I completely understand. It's your workplace. Yeah. But you know what? One of the best conversations I've had for a while, mate. Thank really. You. Really. Yeah. I hope one well, day, it took what? me 26 gonna, years of my life, yeah. and now well, I just... I will, I can guarantee you this 100% I'm actually going to watch this. Yeah. I am, I am, because it's, it's not morbid curiosity, don't get me wrong, it's curiosity. You want to face the truth of what yeah, you can do. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And here, let me give you my actual, um, I do a lot of activism like this and just having conversations with people and yeah, and there's a whole community online and it's, it's a big, you know, once you open up Pandora's box, there's a lot to look into, so. But can I be a little bit of tongue in cheek? Yeah. I do like a good burger, that's a joke. Get a vegan one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>